Hello and welcome to a new video which is create a new column based on numeric processing in Python pandas. So this, this if this is a problem that you are dealing with, probably that's why uh, you are here, then I want to suggest is uh, what I want to inform you is this is part of the book which uh, in which I have collected these uh, 20 different techniques where we have a very common problems related to our data frames and uh, their solutions so that it becomes or it, it will be like a handbook to you and the link for this book is present in the description where along with this all these different solutions are present. So what we are dealing with right now is creating a new column based on numeric processing and uh, so this is like we have a numeric column we have to do some processing on that and create a new column after the processing. So what I'm doing is I'm creating this pandas um, file where I am importing this sales file which I will show you what it is. I'm sure you must be aware about this operation how to import the excel file. And this is a very simple uh, sales order file as you can see right which is about sample superstore where you have the order information customer information and sales quantity region product and all of that. So let's say we have a scenario where we want to apply a discount on our sales as of as let's say 10% and create a value. So 10% apply it on it and then create store those values in a new column rather than changing the original column. So for that what we can do well we can come over here and uh, what we will do is we will create a new column using the technique within the uh, python pandas df discounted sales this is a new column and we will say df df is what we created here if you remember so df dot using the apply function we will use the lambda lambda is one of those ways you know smart functions which helps us do this processing so we are specifying that we are performing this row performance and we have this row dot sales on which we need to do the uh, performance uh, and it is now basically performing this sales taking the sales value and what we are saying is row dot say sorry capital s row dot sales uh, multiply with 0.1 which is 10 percent right and we are saying x is equals to 1 it's a row base uh, it's a performance uh, to mention that we have to do this column based performance. So now as you can see it is executed this is the numeric processing that we have done and we can see the uh, same process over here. So after applying 10% discount how much we have is 235, 658, 13 from 957 to 861, 22 to 23. So this is as you can see is quite fast and a relatively uh, straightforward way that we want to apply this on processing on row the function uh, the column is row dot sales this is the 10 percent that we are subtracting and we can do that however one more relatively straightforward way will be df let's say new underscore discount let's say now the discount is 15 percent what we need to apply right so also the way you can do it is df dot sales minus 0.15 multiply with df dot sales right so once you do that there will not be any issue right and i'll show tell you you know what what can happen when you do a situation like this so discounted is here 15 percent discount is here the new discount column is created the only thing, the only reason why you would not want to do that is because if your data set is huge, then this operation is not an efficient operation compared to this one where we are specifying in terms of, first of all, Lambda is an efficient way of doing these types of processing where also within the Lambda, we are specifying that this is a row based performance and you know, it's not an open ended thing that we are sending it to the python pandas hey go do this processing but here we are doing much more controlled processing which 
you will see if you have let's say you can do a check on if you have 1 million or 10 million rows especially 10 million will be useful you will see that you have the performance gain using this but i wanted to show you both because sometimes you may have a smaller data set and you may want to have a relatively simple operation rather than lambda however my recommendation is you always remember this with that uh, that's pretty much all i wanted to show you however just one more reminder that you have this book link where solution for all these videos is present or all these problems is present and you can get it in link in the description thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic